Now, many of you, you know by now that NEO, when it comes to giving power to their cars, they've got various uh, infrastructure that they are make it available to their users. They've got charging piles, home chargers, and they've got battery swapping stations. The battery swapping station it is a technology that is unique to NEO because this technology entails the users going to a battery shopping station or to any new battery shopping station and get their battery swapped in three minutes and that is on the latest fourth generation battery swapping station. I mean yesterday we or two days ago rather we did a video where we were happy or quite excited that NEO for the month of June the NEO users completed uh, over 2 million and 66,000 swaps for the month of June. The average was over 68,000 on a daily basis, which shows you that consumers or the new users are enjoying this kind of a service. Now, one thing that we read just uh, on the latest report, it shows that uh, out of all the power that Neo is giving to their, all their cars, you know that cars that Neo has sold today exceed 537 thousand and out of those 537,000 for the month of June 54% of the power that those cars were receiving or they were getting they were getting them from battery swapping station so battery swapping station consists or gives more than 50% or 54% of the neo users which is something that is pretty exciting because that tells you that over 50% or 54% of the people that have bought the new cars are enjoying or have subscribed to battery as a service and enjoying swapping their batteries or doing an autonomous swap which is something that is pretty pretty exciting this shows you that battery swapping station it's working because as it stands even on all the new existing cars 54 percent they are getting their source of power from battery swapping station which is something that is to be well noted now, the second place which constituted about 23% or 23.79% is the home charging pile. Home charging pile constituted to about 23.79% of the power that the new users received uh, for the month of June, which shows you that a lot of people also they've got, no, but not as many as the ones for battery shopping station or going to battery shopping station, but the second, most people are using their home chargers, powering their cars. So when they get home, they are charging or plugging in their cars, charging their, their batteries with their home chargers, which is something that, again, is something that is pretty exciting. You will know that the new ones, I don't know if they're still running that special, but they were running a special way. When you buy a new car, they also give you a discount on the home charger, which is something that it's pretty exciting because you get that at a very, very good price. Now, the third source of power is the third party chargers. These are chargers that belong to other brands and these constituted to about 18%. So currently, 18% of the new cars or of all those 537 cars for the month of June, they got powers from the third party chargers. So only 18% of the new users as it stands, they utilize or they some way somehow utilize the third uh, party uh, charging piles, which is something that I think it is a good thing because it is constituting a very little. I can tell you now that when you go to a company like Xpeng, BYD and others, you will realize or you will notice that this, this other charging pile constitute a lot or it will have a, a lot of uh, of cars or it will be the one of their majorities because you will know that when it comes to charging piles neo it is ahead or it is the one with the most charging piles in china and therefore it means that majority of the people or of the other ev companies are using neo charging piles when they are charging their cars which is something that is pretty exciting you will know that i think a couple of weeks ago the neo ceo came and said that 6% of new charging piles are being used by non-neo uh, users, which is something that tells you or shows you that neo chargers are being used by other uh, Chinese brands or other brands in China and not by neo, which is something that shows you that there is, of course, still a shortage and these other companies need to continue aggressively deploying their charging infrastructure so that at least these fast-growing EV 
industry can of course be sustained or because one of the problems that they face the fast growing EV industry or that is in the fast growing EV industry is that they are not sufficient chargers which therefore ends up making people to give up some to give up on this uh, uh, on buying EV cars where which is why NEO is trying their best to form strategic partnerships and make sure that people have got chargers and they can easily access even their chargers which is why we've seen a lot of companies also doing strategic partnerships when it comes to giving NEO charging piles access to other brands or EV brands which is something that is pretty exciting now from the NEO cars 4% only 4% of the power that new users got to their car in june was coming from the new charging pipes so four percent only four percent is what of course the new users uh, used uh, when it comes to bringing or uh, as a source of the power to their cars so, so i'm happy about this i'm happy to see that uh, battery shopping station dominates or dwells the other sources of power or where these cars, the new cars got their powers from. I'm happy and I think the more new deploys battery shopping station is the more that we are going to see uh, this number continuing growing because people are enjoying battery shopping station uh, and the numbers also proves that that uh, average of 68,000 swaps that Neo was uh, completing uh, on a daily basis for the month of June shows us that indeed Neo is winning and Neo is doing well, which is something that, of course, makes me to be really excited. Battery shopping station, it is a technology that is so unique and it is here to stay and because it is proving by itself that Neo indeed, this technology which they are deploying, it's working, which is why other EV brands or big players in the market like BYD, CATL, have formed a partnership where they will be building their own battery swapping station so i'm happy i just thought i'd just give you this quick update if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the likes button comment and subscribe and once you subscribe don't forget to hit or click that notification bell so at least you get notified by youtube every time i drop a new content otherwise that's all from me and i wish you nothing but the best in your stock market investing journey and god bless you all